Hello beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our channel, Heaven's Warning. May the warm rays of the sun fill your hearts with boundless love and positivity on this beautiful day. Embrace the mercy and benevolence that Jesus Christ pours upon us as each new day begins. May the blessings from heaven shower upon you throughout the morning and the rest of the day, bringing you goodness. Before we delve into today's message, let us come together in prayer, offering our supplications to God the Father. Dear Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ whom you dearly love, the one whom you sacrificed to save us, your beloved children, from the fires of hell, hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept the challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in purgatory. We implore you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your mercy so that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make penance before you. Amen. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, as God always blesses you. The congregation is filled with awe and curiosity as they witness something mystical and seemingly deeply symbolic in our hands. The Pope a sense of mystery is added to the holy event as whispers among the faithful suggest that it may symbolize the blood-stained hand of Jesus in the rosary. Many are curious about the incident and ask questions regarding its origin and significance of this unexpected revelation. Interestingly, the faithful also recount that His Holiness had a marvelous dream in which he received a mysterious gift from above. The specific details of this dream remain unknown, which both deeply reverence and excite the Catholic faithful as they try to decipher any heavenly lessons hidden within these notable events concerning our Pope. A group of like-minded individuals is discussing and considering what has happened. They are attempting to discern the spiritual significance of these items. They believe that these events are sacred signs meant to reassure and guide the Church and its members. Everyone is surprised and respectful as they gather to attend a special service at the Church last Sunday. That special day is special because of an unusual incident involving our Holy Father. As he raised his hands in prayer, he held something mysterious and bloodied, which some began to call the bloodied hand of Jesus in the rosary. The congregation fell silent and began to wonder what had happened. Everyone speculated about the possible meaning of this mysterious event because the atmosphere in the prayer hall seemed unique. Was it a unique sign from God? The church buzzed with conversation as people tried to understand the story and the reasons behind this strange occurrence. To add to the intrigue, there are rumors that our Pope had a strange dream in which he witnessed a strange object falling from the sky. He keeps the specific details of the dream secret from most people. As if there were a secret between the dream and the mysterious object he held in prayer. It attracts people to listen to sermons and engage in conversations about these extraordinary events. In prayer. They ask God to clarify all of this and help them understand. The church develops into a quiet and peaceful space where the faithful seek to understand the mystery and establish a relationship with God. As the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, I implore you, in accordance with the Divine Will, to observe and objectively consider what is happening in the world and among the superpowers. As each of you, Children of the King and our Lord Jesus Christ, continue to grow in faith. You will not see any water. Be prepared for the shadows about to fall upon us. The safety of over 400 million Catholics is endangered by the approaching darkness, so it is important that you take preventive action to protect the community and yourself from this lurking danger next week. 
The warning emphasizes the importance of preparation and vigilance as we prepare for this dark period, implying that there may be significant risks associated with the impending darkness. Together, let us make every effort to ensure the safety and welfare of the vast Catholic community. Be courageous from our shared faith and dedication to each other, while staying away from worldly things. Humanity becomes increasingly vulnerable, confused, and shows signs, warning signals related to the need for purification. You have my eternal love, protection, and blessings. Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23 verse 4 conveys a deep faith and trust in God's presence despite difficult and gloomy circumstances. Passing through the deepest valley is a metaphor for going through challenging and stressful periods in life. The author of Psalm 23 asserts unwavering steadfastness in the face of difficulties, believing that this faith is due to the constant presence of God. The promise, you are with me, reflects a strong belief in God's support and presence. The idea that God guides and cares for believers with warmth and care like a shepherd does for their flock is conveyed by referring to the rod and staff, typical shepherding tools. These symbolic means provide reassurance and comfort in difficult times. Now let us unite and pray together. Hail Mary, Mother of God, you are the beloved daughter of God the Father, I entrust my soul under your care. Protect the life of God in my soul. Do not let me lose that life because of sin. Please protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires are pleasing to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Christ is the loving and forgiving one who always extends his arms to welcome all who come to him with humility and repentance. May the Lord grant us strength and courage to overcome all challenges in life and offer to him our sacrifices and works to honor his name and help those around us. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Press the bell button next to it to receive notifications when there are new videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May God bless you. Amen.